I have reset myself. It's time for another stab at this. Let's go Ooh, day two on getting the Evo prepped and ready for a tune day. Um, I'm starting to have a couple doubts that we will actually get this thing done in time for that, but Ryan did give me an ECU with the car and it's four stock injectors. So potentially if I just get the stock injectors on today and the filling system, once we figure out the problem with the exhaust manifold, basically there's these two right here on the block side. The actual studs are too long and they hit the side of the manifold. So this actually doesn't sit flat against the car or against the block, which is not great because then we have no solid exhaust manifold side or the hot side seal. Um, so we're either gonna have to trim the stud a little bit, which is not preferable because there's not really enough room to get in there and actually cut it, or we just run the FP manifold and I'm not sure exactly which one to do. The sheepy manifold is a little bit more expensive and it looks nicer. So I'd like to run that one, but if it comes to it, everything else is said and done and it comes down to the FP manifold. Since it is an FP turbo, maybe we'll just run that. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is grab, I already took out the rear seats. Um, I'm gonna grab the plate cover off of the fuel pump and then we can remove the actual fuel pump and ring and see if we can't get the, other one in and then we have to figure out where we're going to drop the fuel filter and everything else the whole kit is super nice apparently it's super easy to wire in as well so i'm hoping that's the case um but yeah here we go now i recognize that it may be a little dark in here so let me see if opening the other door is going to help Probably not much, but it is something. Okay, so we'll unclip this. <clears throat> Boom. And then there's the fuel line there. A couple more. I'm gonna pull out everything right here. Okay. Oh man. That is toughy. Come on. Slow and steady. And there's fuel. Oops. So I've undone most of these things before. Um, at least these eight. <laughs> it seems like they're pretty loose. Uh, I did have to take out this fuel pump at one point to test it on the other car, the black car, to see if it was a fueling issue. Apparently it wasn't, but I'm glad that I have done that already because everything else seemed to be super simple and easy to take out i know some people have taken up to two hours to take this thing out before should not take us this long um hopefully i've got uh... well there she is so as you can see in the stock system i believe one of these is the filter oh and that's how you tell the gauge that's nice full empty cool 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 so uh, yeah, this is the stock housing one. I'm just gonna keep it. It is really nice looking actually. This might be OEM. This looks super nice. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Hopefully no more fuel comes out of it. Oh, okay, more fuel came out of it. So we just leave it like that. All right, on to the double pumper system. Here is <laughs> the thing that looks like a pain. So, yeah, hopefully this T and everything is all good. It looks like it's pretty bent up. So I've kind of gotten an itch to start on the radium fuel system side of things. I think I'm going to start by pulling out some of the OEM stuff. This apparently goes to the feed, and then I think that one goes to the return. So let's I think this is the setup. Let's go ahead and rip out this stuff. So I gotta get this right here, but the clip is down upside down, so I'm gonna have to do some creativeness. I got it. Oh wait, maybe. Oh no, I lost it. Damn it. Dude, working on cars sometimes is like the nightmare of the century. Okay, let me get this thing out. What a pain. 
Oh shit, I got it. No, I didn't. Oh shit, ah, I slipped again. Well, I found out that I'm gonna have to trim out these two exhaust studs. I'm gonna use my Dremel with the Dremel wheel and plug should be right here. Oops, oh, don't let those fall. Okay, we're gonna put these up upstairs for a second. I'm gonna use this Dremel real quick. Is this upside down? Is this right side up? Ah, oh, dude, I hate that these boxes are made like this. There we go. Okay, here we go. I've got my Google goggles on. Um, let's just see what the heck is going on real quick. Okay. Double nut the stud. Take it off. And then reshape them. <laughs> That's smart. I was about to just cut it in like this. I guess I'm gonna pull off the stud real quick. <laughs> Good idea, Ryan. All right, so instead I have double nutted the stud. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the stud real quick. And then what we'll do is cut it so that we have a straight line and then we can use this to back it out and then it'll clean up the threads. Wow, that's so smart. Looks like this is my setup. It might be a little sketchy, but... I should probably put on some, like, protection for my arms. Here's my solution. I put one arm through. I don't know if you could see that, but one arm all the way through and a glove. So this should be a lot better. <laughs> Let's go. Well, shoot, that's the first one down. Uh, the back of it is actually still scalding hot. Mm. But it looks pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually install it back on before we pull off the other threads. Oh, that is so hot. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Reinstalling the stud now. Much easier to reinstall it than to uninstall. But, yo, this looks like it's going to be great. So, just like that, now that it's all trimmed up, it actually fits flush on the actual uh, exhaust side of the block. So I'm going to throw the gasket in, and then get this thing bolted up, and then we can figure out what the heck we're going to do with this turbo. Well, um, I think I'm looking for the bolt set that goes with the exhaust manifold. I think it might be this one. Let's try this. I do have newer hardware for all the other ones, so let's stick with that. And then we're going to use the smaller ones, the mini, mini, tiny bolts for right here and right here. Oh, okay. <sighs> so that is gonna be a pain to get to, I think. But we'll try our best here. <laughs> I don't know how people do this. I'm scared. Oh, I fell. So the manifold is completely installed. Now I have a new issue, which is laundry machine broke and uh, my laundry's in it. Now I gotta figure out what's going on. It looks like mm, pretty mucky water, so I think I'm gonna have to rewash everything in here, but hang dry it, and we don't really have a place to hang it. So <laughs> we might have to go buy some rope and then hang it in the backyard. So wonderful. Yeah, this is uh, quite the weekend it's been, but this is pretty solidly on here now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple things away and then kind of start thinking about how we're gonna mock up this uh, FP Red. So I have the FP Red here. I got to 
loosen up this v-band clamp just to rotate the like the down or the dump pipe properly and then we can see if we can get that in there right now it's kind of facing at an awkward angle so we're gonna have the turbo sitting like this and we don't want this to hit so we got to turn it downwards i think most people run upwards i want to do downwards for now so as disaster has struck we have restructured everything in the garage i've kind of moved everything back we're getting rid of this here in about five minutes give or take and then that thing as well both potentially gone i have moved all of the manifolds to spot behind the car so i threw some stuff in here this might also go in a few let's see and then what else we got this exhaust manifold o2 dump everything's in there um i need to continue to focus on putting all of my laundry i'm fishing for clothes dude oh my god it's horrid Oh shit, he brought the Audi. We actually found another Audi right there too. That shit's kind of fire, bro. This dude pulled up. I thought it was Ray for a second. Ray, I thought that was you. I think that's an S though. How's it going? Hey, good, how are you? Good, I'm Kaden. I'm Alex, right. uh, my right. <laughs> uh, laundry machine bro, oh, our no. washer. So I've been digging out my clothes and I'm like, dude, really? Like the one day I try to do laundry? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, here's all the stuff. <laughs> I set it out for you. This is the HIC. It's yeah, yeah I was looking sold out. They're all sold out now. I well, know, and it's funny because I have the Genesis there too, uh -huh. and I was looking at the HIC for that, and they've skyrocketed like six hundred. So I was like, I don't know what to price this at because everybody's sold out. Yeah. I was like, you know what, dude? I don't know honestly, what they are new because they're all. They're all when I bought it, so. I think I paid like one thirty yeah. ish for it. So yeah, and then here's the cool. diffuser. So there's this yeah. hole there. Yeah. I'm really sure you work on fiberglass, so. or, yeah, <laughs> and it's not even too hard to do yourself if you wanted to. I know, so yeah, it looks it's like really crazy. not. Yeah, you I just do a, a carbon fender for me. Oh, I nice! Just crashed my Evo. Damn like no! Like that <laughs> so that's kind of. Oh, dude, that's so sweet. Yeah, Brayden oh, yeah. actually is the guy that had it before me. He said he knew you because he sent me your listing on Facebook. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you've ever seen it before, but it's got a Varus kit and stuff on it. Fuck yeah, dude. So, yeah, it got crashed. So I have a buddy that does uh, body repair and stuff. Uh -huh. So I got a new core support put on it and whatnot. Nice. So. Heck yeah. Yeah, I'm just piecing it together now. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Seats down first. <laughs> okay. Will she fit? Oh yes, like a glove. Maybe I'll move the passenger seat forward. No, there we go. Too That's easy, good. man. Cool. Yeah, and then wherever you want these. Yes. There. Cool. Awesome. Well, hey, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, shouts to the mans for bringing the freaking. Oh, that was hard. The refrigerator, or not the refrigerator, the fucking washer over. Now we have a hopefully working <laughs> washer. I don't know. We haven't confirmed it, so we're gonna go ahead and throw this in. in he, the, he has a thing oh. on his guaranteed return. Oh, okay, cool. Sometimes I just don't like working with Teflon tape. That's probably good enough. Good. I know. Well, good news is the laundry seems to be working again. So, bad news is we got that plug stuck in the uh, coolant tube. So, I think I'm gonna go to Walmart. See if I can't find some 
wire wire clothes hangers. Is that what they're called? Dude, I couldn't remember what the fuck they're called. 